Hi guys, welcome back to The Social Tune. And today, to mark the beginning of the new year, let's count down my top 10 most anticipated projects for 2018. So here's a video that I've never really attempted before, but one that I've wanted to do for a while. The fact of the matter is, there are some albums that are either rumored or confirmed for release in 2018 that I am really excited about. And in order to keep them at the forefront of my mind and yours, I decided to make a quick video hyping up my top 10. Now just to be clear, if there's an artist who isn't on this list, then there's usually a reason. So if there's someone that you saw was missing, then please post them in the comments below because chances are that I didn't know they were coming out with a new project. And like I said, I'll fully admit that not all the releases on this list have been confirmed yet. And what better way to demonstrate that than by starting off with... Yes, according to several outlets, as well as Kanye himself, his next album, TurboGrafx-16, should be dropping later this year. Now, knowing Kanye, that title may go through some changes and he may decide to drop it out of nowhere, but I really hope that's not the case. For one, the album supposedly features, amongst others, ASAP Rocky, Young Thug, and Migos, all of whom have enough mainstream buzz to possibly make this a big comeback for Yeezy. And for another, if the life of Pablo taught us anything, it's that bad marketing can kill your momentum no matter who you are. Take a leaf out of Kendrick's book, Kanye. Trust me, there's a reason that Damn was so massive. And yeah, this is pretty low on the list, mainly because Kanye has the potential to blow us all out of the water, but could also easily underwhelm us with something that he thinks is amazing, but is actually... The Life of Pablo. An album with moments of genius, but a maddening inconsistency to it. And while we're on the topic, don't recall the album to add finishing touches after it's been released this time round. But still, as a fan of Kanye, I couldn't very well leave him off the list. But while we're on the topic of good music... Valentino Summers and Wave Runners Chains on my niggas like slave runners Drug dealers anonymous How many Madonnas can that Mazda fit? My brick talk is more than obvious It's ominous Garage is the phantom Ghouls, ghosts, and goblins Blonde Mohawk, the collection I'm Dennis Rodman It's been over two years Since King Push, Darkest Before Dawn The Prelude was dropped Two years Years. Look, when you drop a project that many call your best and it's only a prelude and you promise us that the album is going to be even better, then you kinda need to make good on that. Now, to push a T's credit, he did drop a track with Jay-Z, which is more than Kanye has done. And I'll also admit that the pressure to top that prelude may have been a bit too much for him. But again, it's been two years and at this point, the goodwill that he earned with that prelude has all but faded. If you had dropped that project back in 2016, like you you had originally promised, then people probably would have forgiven you if it had been worse. But now, it has to be better or everyone will be seriously disappointed. And look, I know that I sound harsh, but hey, the internet is harsh. And as someone who loved that prelude, placing it on his best albums of the year, I've been longing for the full album for ages now. Come on, man, please don't let King Push become this decade's detox, okay? And always ascending past the progression, but I Okay, the lead-off single may have been polarizing to some fans, but personally, I am so hyped for the newest album by indie rock band Franz Ferdinand. Their last album, Right Thoughts, Right Words, Right Actions, was brilliant, as was their collaboration with Sparks. So, as a longtime fan of theirs, this new album may work for me in the best possible way. With a more epic scope that seems to be inspired more by 90s electronica than 70s rock this time around. And if the title track is any indication, it'll probably have a slick edge to its guitars and frontman Alex Caprano's voice that will make this a ton of fun to get through. If I'm being honest, unlike some of the other albums on this list, this album doesn't need to amaze or impress me because I'll probably enjoy it regardless. Fingers crossed that it's amazing though, I could certainly use another entire year of this band in my life. Oh 
Okay, if you only listen to the mainstream circa 2012, this pick will make absolutely no sense to you. I mean, the call me maybe girl, really? But if you're paying any attention at all, you'll know just how much clout Carly Rae Jepsen has built up in the underground over the past few years. Somehow, I'd say that this is one of the very few exceptions where an artist probably works better without Mariana's Trench. I know, that seems insane, but trust me, her last couple of projects have been amazing. And even though I don't really expect this single to actually make the album, if the sound of it is any indication, this new album will be another joy to say through with damn great pop music that is bound to put a perpetual smile on my face all year round. So, glad you're back, Carly, and like many, I can't wait to hear what you come out with next. you'd better believe that I wasn't going to forget about Danny. While no official release has actually been confirmed, Danny Brown has told reporters that his new album will be produced by a legendary hip-hop figure. And while many are still speculating who this legend could be, for me, you had me at new Danny Brown album. Like everyone else, I absolutely adored Atrocity Exhibition. An absolutely wonderful album that defied expectations and made many, many critics year-end lists for damn good reason. And if his side projects released with Paul White last year are any indication, Danny Brown is remaining as interesting as ever. Can't wait to hear what you bring us next, Danny. I'm certain you won't disappoint. And speaking of artists that I first discovered in 2016... And no, I know I'm just some perk. She lets me hang around and watch her work Cause she knows what I like to do And she knows what I like to see and she knows how to bring about a shattered heart that don't belong to me. If there's an artist that I'm currently rooting for as the next great rock star, believe you me, it is not Post Malone. No, if any of you actually heard Dolls of Highland back in 2016, then you know exactly why this is on the list. With that release, Kyle Kraft proved to us that he is one of the best songwriters and potent new voices in music that we will hear this decade. And the moment I heard he was bringing us a new album in 2018, I was definitely on board. He's also probably the artist on this list with the least amount of buzz, so I really hope that this will encourage many of you to go check him out, because trust me, he definitely deserves it. And yeah, there's a part of me that wishes that his new singles had a bit more glam to them like on his last album, but the writing is still fantastic and the sound is still incredibly appealing, so I have faith in you, Kyle Kraft. I've loved what I've heard so far and I can't wait for you to blow me away once again. Yep, if you want the pinnacle of fun, well-written synth pop that I love, then look no further than The Wombats, the wonderful UK group who have released some of my favorite synth pop of the decade. Trust me, if you're a fan of the main or that newest Paramore album, then this will definitely put a smile on your face. And with how much I loved their past couple of projects, I can't wait to hear more from them. I mean, I thought I loved Lemon to a Knife Fight, but their newest single, Turn, is somehow even better. Definitely an album I'm going to have have fun with when it drops, and I certainly hope it has the quality to back it up. And somehow, they're not even the synth-pop group I'm most excited to hear from in 2018. But before we get to that... Merry go 
That's right, it's confirmed. 2018 will bring us new material from the one and only country queen, Casey Musgraves. Seriously, if you want a prime example of an artist who should be huge in the mainstream, then look no further than this wonderfully talented performer. Her debut, Same Trailer Different Park, is among my favorite albums of the decade. And while I wasn't as big a fan of her follow-up back in 2015, it's definitely grown on me since then. And for me, she's up there with Laurie McKenna and Brandi Clark as one of my favorite artists working in the genre. Can't wait for that new album, Casey. I'm certain you'll do wonderfully. Yeah, if there's an album that's grown on me more than any other since 2015, it's Church's Every Open Eye. I mean, it was in my top 10 at number 8, and I still feel I undersold how amazing it is. And that's impressive considering how great 2015 was. Seriously, their song Leave a Trace has grown to be one of my favorite pop songs of the decade, and when I hear emotional cuts like Make Them Gold and Afterglow, my heart just melts. And it's a credit to the band that such a powerful album is still in competition with their debut, The Bones of What You Believe. Churches is by far the act that has grown on me most since I last heard from them, and this new album of theirs is my most anticipated synth-pop album of the year. But not quite my most anticipated of 2018 overall, because, well, you all guessed it by now. Wanna go, but I wouldn't. I wanna stay when I shouldn't I wanna say no when I couldn't So meet me in the dark Kiss me in the shadows of every spark I know we shouldn't start But baby, I'm asleep the rhythm Asleep the rhythm of your heart The rhythm of your heart The rhythm of your heart Hell yes! On Who Do You Love, Josh Ramsey promised his fans that he would never wait that long between releases again, and with this new album, they're making good with that promise. The lead-off single is like nothing they've ever done before, but hey, it's Mariana's Trench, they're always switching up their style. And yeah, there was no chance that anything else was going to top this list. When my favorite band is set to drop a new album, then everyone else needs to step up their game. And with Mariana's Trench's track record, and how much I've been playing Rhythm of Your Heart on repeat since I first heard it, we have an early contender for one of the best albums of the year here. It's all but confirmed, and I cannot fucking wait. Easily my most anticipated release of 2018. So those are the albums that I'm looking forward to hearing most of all. Obviously they're not the only ones, so please feel free to ask me about any acts that didn't end up on this list. Also, please let me know which albums you're looking forward to in 2018, and if there are any that I don't recognize, then I'll do my best to check them out. Otherwise, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if there are any other albums coming out in the next month or so, please post them in the comments or tweet them at me at the social tune, link in the description, and I may yet review them. Don't worry, I am well aware of Jeff Rosenstock, his album is already in rotation for me. So, please subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and until the next time, I'm Finn, and this is the social tune, signing off.